Okay, now we are going to design the uh, dashboard page. Uh, I'm going to use the podcast show page as a uh, starting template. So I'm going to save this at, or do a save as, uh, shift command S, and I'm just going to say uh, dashboard page. All right. So I think the dashboard page should really look almost exactly like the uh, podcast show page, except it should have uh, links to edit and destroy each episode. And in addition to that, we should uh, allow the user, uh, the authorized user, to add a new episode, uh, view their account settings, and uh, give them a quick link to uh, their podcast show page. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bump the size up just slightly. Uh, let's make it about six or 3,700. And then I'm going to grab all the episodes and bring those down. So we don't actually want the breadcrumbs anymore. So I'm going to use this as the link for uh, the current page they're on. So what I'm thinking is Let's uh, justify it left, bump up the size a bit to make it more prominent. So their main dashboard page should be all of their episodes, uh, but they also should have links to new episode, account settings, and uh, view their podcast. And then uh, depending on which page they're on, it should be highlighted. Because technically uh, these will be separate pages, but we are going to style it in a way to where the user won't even know uh, that they're on different pages. It will just look as if they're on the same template except a very different page. So all of this will stay the same between the episodes, the well, episodes, AKA the dashboard, the new episode or the form, the account settings. Uh, the only thing that would be different would be the view podcast, which would be the show page or which would take them to the show page. Okay, so let's uh, move this up. This line right here, I'm going to drop it down and then it doesn't need to go full width, so I'm going to zoom in and uh, scale that in. Looks great. And then it doesn't need that much spacing, so let me grab all of these and bump it up. I want the same height as the top and bottom for the starting one. Um, that's a little too little. Uh, that looks good. And also, really all I want this to say is uh, that it they're on their dashboard. So instead of the rocket ship podcast, let's say the rocket ship podcast dashboard. Let's get rid of the description because only an authorized user would be able to see this. So obviously they know uh, what their podcast is all about. And then I don't think we need these uh, iTunes, Stitcher, and Podbay link either. So let's delete those. Uh, that of course means the height of the banner does not need to be so high, so I'm going to bring that up, uh, which in turn will bring up all of the other content. So let's select everything and drag that up. Crop it. Boom, that looks great. It's not quite centered. There we go. Okay, so the last thing we need is uh, edit and destroy links for each of the podcasts. So uh, let's just uh, copy this and I will say uh, edit, give some space, delete, and then let's uh, bring up that. Uh, this doesn't need to be nearly as big as the regular font uh, and we should also give it more spacing. So I'm gonna zoom out. Probably shouldn't have cropped that, but no worries. So what I'll do is give that some spacing. Let's bring this up to match. And then I'm just going to do the same for the rest. All 
All right, and let's bring up the canvas size and make it about uh, 3,500, not 35,000, that'd be way too big. Okay, and let's grab the pagination and drop that down. That looks awesome. So I really don't think we need anything more than this. Just uh, give them easy access to edit or destroy their podcast episodes. Um, obviously see all their podcast episodes and then links to create new episodes, see their account settings and uh, see their podcast. So I think we're pretty much done with the design. So what I usually do is I design the main pages as we've done and then uh, I move into the front end code. And then from there, any smaller decisions, I can either A, move back into Photoshop and uh, figure that out, or B, I can just design it with the code itself. So in the next episode, what we're gonna do is move on to the front end code and start coding our homepage. <laughs>